when I got that call uh, from Governor Cuomo, threatening me um, and my career and my livelihood to lie for him, uh, I wasn't scared of his bully tactics, but I was afraid that he would escape accountability. This is about decency. This is about decent human beings coming together, taking on the most powerful politician in the state of New York. Together, we will get to the truth. And that's what so many people want. As you can see, it was a solemn Sunday in New York's Brooklyn. That was a Democratic Assemblyman Ron Kim demanding answers as New York families mourn the losses of more than 15,000 residents who died in nursing homes. But their despair was joined by determination to hold Governor Andrew Cuomo accountable for downplaying the death toll after his deadly executive order. And Assemblyman Ron Kim joins us live this morning. Assemblyman, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. You know, uh, hearing you talk yesterday, it just brings it all back. About a month ago, we heard that he picked up the, the phone and just started yelling at you and said you were going to be, he was going to wreck you uh, unless you lie for him. That's right. I mean, it, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't the bullying. You know, the moment he crossed that line and ordered me to issue a statement that covered up for his top eight admission of obstructing justice. You know, that's what really, you know, motivated and pushed me to come out in public and push back. Because, right. you know, I, I fought as, along with Janice Dean and others for 10 months to give these families the voice that they lacked. And then in one second, the governor wanted me to lie and cover everything up to protect him. And I wasn't going to have that. Well, the governor <laughs> has denied threatening you during the phone call. Uh, but essentially, all you were, you were just repeating what you had heard Melissa DeRosa, his secretary, secretary to the governor, say on a Zoom call where she was apologizing to Democrats, sorry that it was so rough on you during your reelection because of the nursing home thing, and essentially said, we doctored the numbers to make us look better. That's right. She, in a private meeting, she admitted that there was a cover up. Yeah. And she Crazy. implicated all of us, not just the members, but the, the institutions, the Senate and the Assembly. And the moment she did that, it no longer became a private conversation. The public had a right to know, and we have a duty to report to the public that this is what's going on with the executive, and we need to check the governor, and we need to do our jobs and get to the truth. Well, Mr. Kim, uh, the New York Times uh, leaked an audio from uh, 2018, I b believe. It was a phone call between the governor and Working Families Party head Bill Lipton. It came after Cynthia Nixon, who was running for governor, uh, and who the Working Party's uh, fam family party endorsed, dropped out of the race. And just listen to how he spoke to this person on the phone. If you ever say, well, he's better than a Republican again, I'm going to say you're better than a child rapist. How about that? Governor, our, I want to, I, I apologize, but I got to clarify one thing. You're free to say whatever you want, Governor. Um, uh, but, but I just, I just like want to be clear. Our line is going to be that we have differences with you, but our differences with Republicans are far greater. I think you're better than a child rapist. Unbelievable. His spokesperson, uh, Assemblyman, <laughs> said that the governor was being hyperbolic. He was just, you know, he's exaggerating. Well, first, first they denied it. They they lied that that he never said that. Right. And then when they get caught red-handed, they're you know they they punt and they deflect and come up with something else. The point is, they lie, they they deflect, and they cover up, and the public has had enough. Yeah. That we, we had enough of yep. his abusive behavior, his abusive power, and he needs to be removed so we can get back to protecting the people of New York. And, of course, all you want is you just want answers, and then that will lead to justice. Assemblyman Ron Kim, we thank you very much for joining us today on this Monday.